welcome to Disney Makes Coloring. My name is Megan if you're new here and I am so excited to be here with you today. Today I thought we would do a video on my colored pencil collection. And I wanted to show you, I, I don't know if you remember my color swatch binder. I said I needed to make a cover. I made a cover. So I thought I'd show it to you. I think it turned out cute. I just used some scrapbooking paper and that's my own lettering. I didn't print anything out, but yeah. So I have 12 sets of colored pencils. So I thought we'd start from the very first set that I've ever owned and then we'll go as from there. So the very first set I have ever owned, which I would guess would be most of you. Well, maybe not most. Most people. I didn't know there was other different kinds of colored pencils. But is the wonderful Crayolas. This is the 100 set, not the 120. I've never had the 120. But this is the 100 plus all the skin tones. So. I also have... Um, I pulled aside all the color charts so you can see the color charts. I think Crayola has one of the best color variety. I love their greens. I like their greens a lot. They could use some more lighter blues. Um, they have, uh, and I love the new, um, I think they're called the Around the World, the skin tones. Those are great. They are a harder pencil. They're not anything like Prismacolors. But for a budget set, less than $20, I think they work pretty well. And I have, um, so it looks like I have a lot more than 100 plus however many come in the Around the World set. But I have two sets in here. I have more sets actually. Because I don't know if you remember in one of my videos, every time I went out of town with my mom, we would, the first thing we'd do is buy a coloring book and brand new crayons. We also would do colored pencils. So I have a lot of boxes of Crayola colored pencils. But you can never have too many, right? Never. At least I can't. So with my Crayola pencils, I thought also what I would do is show you something that I colored with those pencils. So this is Nice Little Town Valentine's Day by Tatiana Bokima Saloba. I love this book. I think it is so cute. And I did the name page. And this is all with my Crayolas. And gel pens. There's some gel pen in here. And then I did the very first page. He's planting a little garden. I like how they, they work. Now this isn't... This is some of my more recent colorings. This isn't some of my first colorings. Um, I didn't start my coloring journal until later on, until January. So I don't have that, but yeah. So the next set, set number two, is the 180 Color set. Um, I don't keep the tins. And uh, I throw them away. I like, I love these pencil cases. Whoever invented these, oh, they did a great job. This kind of I like better because it has the single slots. Where the one the Crayolas were in, it's one slot holds three to four pencils depending on. Yeah, some of the slots are more stretched out than others. But this is the set, the 180, and it has an elephant on the cover. I don't know if that helps you. Um, I like them for my first set other than Crayola's. They're, I thought they were pretty soft. I was amazed. Um, I didn't have Prismacolors. Here is the color chart that I have. I also write, so you know, I write the name and the number. Because sometimes it's hard or to see the name on them, but the numbers stand out pretty good. But this has a very good variety of colors. Some really light blue. This pale blue is really pretty. They have great greens. And then there's two pages to this one. Because the one page only holds 150. 
So yeah, this is the 180 Color Premium Pencils set. And I was going to show you a picture I colored with these. This is Cute and Spooky by Jade Summer. This is one of the first books I got when I started. I don't know if I said this already, but I, I didn't start in this coloring community realizing how wonderful it is until around, it was fall, September, October. So this was one of my first coloring books after the eerie ones, of course. But I colored this one. And these are all with those Color pencils. I think she turned out way cute. As you can see, I'm learning to shade and blend. You'll see as we go on. I'm getting the hang of it. It's not like I do now, but. And I only had pencils, so I didn't have all the fancy things to do all the backgrounds. I still really don't, but. He's cute. I think this owl's really cute. And I love this one. Makes me think of that one movie. My man eating plant. Cute little bear, scarecrow. And the last one is this house, which you can see I started blending it a little better, I think. This is the last one in this book that I used those pencils with. But yep, that's Cute and Spooky by Jade Summer with my Color 180 set. The next set I have is the Star Joys. Now these aren't the Star Joy Golds. These are just the regular Star Joys. It's the 120 Premium. And I believe the tin had like a spaceship on the front of it. Don't quote me on that. But it's like spacey or something like that. And so here are the Star Joys. I don't know if you guys want to see. I'll sh or start sh showing you more colors. All I'm showing you is yellow, pinks, and reds. So here's the Star Joys. Um, I was hoping these would be a little bit more softer. I watched some videos on them and people loved them. So to me, they're very similar to the colors. I didn't see much difference. And there are more color choices in the color set than in these. But I still like them. I still use them. They're getting, some of them are getting small. <laughs> As you can see, I like my greens. I think it's important to have lots of greens. And here is the color chart. So not as many. There's not a really, really light blue like there was in the color set. And I missed some. So they had to go down in the bottom. Oops. But yeah. So this is the Star Joy set. The 120 Premium. And then the pages I colored with those pencils out of 50 Autumn Miniatures by Camellia Angel Kova. And I did this nameplate page. I'm getting better with my blending. I like how the leaves turned out. And some scarecrows. Some pumpkin houses. I believe I went online and saw somebody else's and got some ideas to use the different colors like that in the pumpkin other than orange. And then lastly, this one is cute. But yeah, so that's 50 Autumn Miniatures by Camellia Angelkova. Those were colored with my Star Joy 120 set. The next set I have is my first Castle Arts. And they came in this case. And this is the 120 set. It's not the... 
I think there's a gold set. It's not those. These are the black barrel set. I really like these. Compared to those other two sets, these are one step up, I think. I think. Um, so this is the case it came in. I like it. It's not too bad. This set has a special place for me. <laughs> I got this set when they put my mom back in the hospital. And these were the last pencils I was using when she passed. So, yeah. Sorry. Um, here is the color chart for the Castle Art Soft Touch 120s. And when I got this set, I also got um, this book. And I decided, because she was in the hospital quite a while that last time, that I was going to try to only color in one book and see if I could finish it before she was released. Well, as you all know, that didn't happen. But let me show you some of the pictures I colored. I know I'm not doing very well. I didn't show you. They had the names and numbers on the other ones. So they have a name on these and the number on the bottom, which I like. That way when the, you get low, if you can't read the name, you still have the number. The Star Joys, the color names way up here and the number. So that was kind of a bummer. So let me show you those pictures. So I started from the very beginning, well not the very beginning, I started from the first page. I was getting used to the pencils. And I was also coloring, um, I had to buy a light this time because um, it was dark in there. Uh, there wasn't a good lighting in the hospital room she was in this that last time. I love the doggy. I love how the apples turned out on this one. I can see such a difference in how I color now than when I, this is back in November. I love this. I like the, the green door. I, didn't, I had a hard time with the flowers, choosing what color to use. I didn't finish the barn. And then... This was the... No, I have one more. I think I got tired of this page and I didn't want to color it. And I was trying to finish the book and I, there was other pages. I wanted to color the cat. Isn't that cute little kitty? I like what, how this one was turning out. This is the last one. But yeah. So this is Autumn Charms by Teresa Goodridge. And this is with my Castle Art 120s. And the next set, we're going to move along from the sad colored pencils are my one of my favorites is my wonderful black widows which i showed you i believe in the last video i have two sets of these because they're starting to get small and, and as far as i know you can't get replacements like one pencil you have to buy a whole new set so to me they were worth it so i have another set and they're on the shelf and another one of these, all nice and safe. But this is all the different Black Widow sets, all 180. And they're in color family order. I went on Pamela's Passion for Pencils. She has an Etsy shop, and on her Etsy shop, she sells the charts, the swatch charts, on certain pencils only, not all of them. But she like, she, I don't believe there's Prismas on there. She does have Black Widows. She had the Mark Art ones. And this is all up to date with the most recent, with the Dragon set included. So, 
there's 90 on each page. And you can buy these also completely empty, so you can write your own names and numbers in it. But for this set, since she already had it all typed out, I bought this one. But I love the way she does her color family orders. Yeah. And they have the best colors, I think. One of the best color choices. So that, these are my Black Widows. And I'm going to show you um, the, one of the first pictures I colored with these. When I first got my very first ones. This is Tales of the Forest Kingdom by Hannah Carlson. And I started at the very beginning. So some little mushrooms. And then I did this and it went onto the other side. So I didn't think colored pencils did that, but this one, these were black widows. So on this, I don't know if it's the paper or what. So then when I did the next, I think actually it did that when I colored this because I really colored hard on some of this. Though the blue background, the black is a marker. It's a water. I think it's a Crayola super tip. But the rest of it is the black widows and some beautiful glitter. I don't know if you can see all that shininess. And then this one. I think this one turned out really good. This is Black Widows. And yeah, those were my first few pages using my Black Widow pencils. And like I said, they're one of my favorites that I have. This next set I had, um, was watching one of Pamela's videos. I know I mentioned her a lot, I'm sorry. And she goes on and on and on about the Calor 240 set. That they're one of her favorites. So, of course, I had to try them. So, I got them. So, here they are. This case is a little different. I don't really like this case. So, with, when it I can, I'm going to get a new case for these. Because I don't like the way this one opens. And it doesn't close very easily. But this is the 240 color. This was like a mint green tin and it had a lady on the front. But yeah, as you can see, I'm, I've been using them quite a bit. And then I have the chart here. Here's, uh, it's two. I went back to this one because it had 150 on each one. Actually, yeah. So, I like them. I do. Let me show you a picture that I colored with it. I'm going to put this on this side. My Tower of Color pencils is going to fall. Let's see, I saved it. This I did this one was my first page with these. And this is by Christine Karen. Isn't she cute? I'm a I'm one of her Patreons. And every month if you're a Patreon, she gives you a free PDF. And then they're not in her books, they're originals. So this was for March. I think she turned out way cute. I like that I did pink and green. Could have done purple too. But I'm a pink person. And the background. Um, uh, I'll have to do another video and show my other mediums. I don't really have very many. So that one will be very short. Is with the King Art gel sticks. So yeah, so those are my Calor 240 premium set. And the next set is my absolute number one set. I finally got them. 
my Prismacolors. I got them for Christmas. So exciting. So. They're beautiful. Another, again, this is another one of the cases where it holds three pencils in one. I keep two sets in here. So I have not been able to find one of the single slots that holds 300 pencils. I believe the highest one I found is, I want to say 200, but I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But I like to keep two of every color in there because, you know, you never know if when you're coloring, you need a second one. I also have another. I have some spares, too. I showed you my perfectionist little Prismacolor journal so I know how, what colors I need and what I have. So if I need to order. And some of them are missing. They're set aside because I'm using them. But... These are my lovely Prismacolors, and these sit next to me all the time, and it's never closed. I never zip this one up. So I'm, I use these mostly. And here is my Prismacolor chart. I did something a little different this time because I tried to do it by myself. So I kind of put them in sections and I left a gap in case I missed one. So then I just left a gap in all of them. But yeah. So these are my Prismacolors. Very soft, my favorites. It's pretty much my only expensive set that I have. Um, I do have one other, but it still wasn't as expensive as these, but we'll get to that. So these were my Prismacolors. Move this. And I went back to January because I had that to see what the very first picture was I colored with them was. I don't know if this is the very first, but when I started journaling, this was the first one that was with Prismacolors. And it is in 50 Safari Miniatures by Camellia Angelkova. And my elephants turned out way cute. I think this was a, a color challenge. You had to color an animal in a different color, not a natural elephant or animal color. So I picked them and did pink and purple. And they're taking a bubble bath. They're so cute with their rubber ducky. So yeah, that's 50 Safari Miniatures by Camellia Angel Cova with my Prismacolors. I also got another set for Christmas. And I don't know if it's going to fit in frame. I'm going to do the best that I can. It is ginormous. It is, and it's heavy. The 520 Brute Fooner set. These were my first boot printers, and I like to have options with my colors. So I watched a whole bunch of videos to see what people thought, and I know people have been looking for a case. They do have cases that hold 520 pencils. Actually, it's a little less than 520, but they fit in here um, on Amazon. I'm going to unzip it for you. It has the zipper thing on the one side. It's only one zipper. And then on the other side, it just has, this is the brand name, Shulinor, our colorful world. And it has a pocket with a Velcro. Nice. So I'm going to open it this way. Hopefully I don't hit the phone. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see it. So it's two rows, and they're the ones that hold three. So some have three, some have four. I squeezed four in so that we could fit all 520. Now, it's a lot of pencils. So what I did <laughs> is I need to 
find a different way to do this because it's not staying. So this row is pencil number 138 to pencil 208. So I did these pencils in number order because I don't know any other way that we could have done it. Um, I love that this, I mean, this case works. I just need a big space to set it next to me, which I have. Um, one of these days I will have to show a video of my craft room. So this one took more four pages of these. So I swatched out every single pencil. I know, right? Okay, so they're not, yeah, they are in number order. These pencils have two different numbers on them. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know, let's see. They have the color number and then they have a regular number. So I put both numbers on the chart. I put one, this one I did them like one on top of the other. But on this page, the second page, I started doing the number underneath the name, This, the main number that I use for this part. But like I said, Here's the reds, pinks, and purples, some of the grays. There's the rest of the grays, the metallics, the neons. I don't see, they're not that metallic-y. I mean, there is a little bit of glitter in them, but yeah. So I have colored with these many times and I do have a page to show you that I use them with. Try not to hit the camera. So these are the 520 Brute Fooners in this giant pencil case. And I colored in this book, Alice's Adventure in Wonderland. And I did the very first page. I think they're great pencils. They blended well, they were pretty soft. I didn't have much trouble with them. I still like my prisoners better, but these are, these are a good pencil. And for that many colors, amazing. Well, because I liked those Brute Fruiner 520s, I heard that the Brute Fruiner squares were amazing. And so I had to try those. So that's the next set that I got, is the Brute Furner Squares. Isn't this case so cute? The little bumblebees. So this is the single slot one. And they do not have a color name on them that I am able to read, but they do have a number. No, if you can see it. So, um, Pamela's passion for pencils again. She has a color chart. Or she has a video. One of the two. I'm sorry, I don't remember. And she has somebody um, translated all the color names for her. So I have... I either followed the video or I copied it off of... I'm assuming it's a video. Because otherwise I would have bought the printed out where it's typed. Yeah. Pretty cool. I like them. They are very soft. Um, I think these are my next favorite after Black Widows. I have had a few, though, that won't, that keep breaking. This one in particular. It's the number 13. It's the cheesecake color. Number 13. I mean, it was like broken way in there and came out. So I didn't want to keep sharpening it. But yeah. So these are the Brute Furner Squares. And I will show you 
um, the first picture I used, I colored with these. This is by Rita Berman, Under the Sea, something about a microscope. And I was involved in a Facebook group chat for coloring, and we decided to all color a turtle picture, and this is the one I picked. Though I really think I was really one of the only ones that did it. But this is my turtle page. I'm, I have a hard time with this paper with any pencil. I'm getting used to it. I don't know what it is about it. If you have any tips, you can leave me a comment down below. Or you know the best pencils that work the best in the Rita Berman books. Let me know. I would appreciate that. So that was a Rita Berman Under the Sea with my Brute Fruiner Squares. And now we're at set number 10. We're almost done. Set number 10. And this is... I wanted to get the Arteza 120 set. And they'd been out of stock for forever. Um, and then, again, I watched Pamela's video, and she really liked these. But she really likes the Arteza ones, but she tries not to put those because they didn't have them, which they do now. But they didn't at the time. So I thought, oh, okay, I'm going to try them. And so here they are. Beautiful pencils. Um, on one side, they have the number... And then, do they not? Expert. Oh. Hmm. So it's number 91. I thought they had color names, but I guess they don't have color names on them. Unless I am just missing it. Which is possible. No, they do not have color names. Just numbers. But I printed off this swatch chart off of Pamela's Passion for Pencils. And she has the names on them. Maybe it's on there and I just can't see it. I don't see any names, just numbers. So that's kind of a bummer, but somehow she has names. I don't know if she made them up or she looked on their website. I don't know how she got names. But yeah, these are the Mark Art pencils. And I, they're okay. They weren't amazing, amazing like I was hoping. But they're not bad. They are very pigmented. I don't know if you could tell. They have, they, yeah, nice and bright. I wish they had a few more green choices, but there's only 120. Aren't they so pretty? Beautiful. I use the black a lot, obviously. And I'm gonna show you the picture I colored with these, which you all have seen before but I'm gonna show it again it is in mermaids by Jasmine Beckett Griffith one of my absolute favorite pages that I've colored it is this one so pretty this is with the mark art pencils they were okay not too bad but yeah, this is Mermaids by Jasmine Beckett Griffith with my Mark Art Expert colored pencils. So then I thought, okay, I don't think I need any more pencils. But because I'm a collector, or like I said before, my husband would call me a hoarder, I like to have all the different collections of pencils 
Well, Christmas was my only expensive set that I owned. And uh, these were, I saw were, I don't know if they were like 10% off or what they were. Um, I got them for like 70 something. But this is the Derwent Color Soft, the 72 set. So, I snatched them. I still... I know a lot of people rave on about these. They were okay. They're they're soft. Not, they're still not Prismacolor soft, but they're soft. But to me, I know I said this before in my video that I my supply video. There is not enough greens. They need more green choices. But here is the swatch chart. See all the colors. There is a light blue. I mean, these are supposed to be greens up in here, but those look like browns to me, not green. Or like this yellow green, that looks like a brown. I don't know, but it seems like all the coloring pages that I want to color have an awful lot of greenery or leaves. And I like to have a variety of greens. So it's not boring and we're not using all the same color. But... These are the Derwent Color Soft. And these do have names and numbers towards closer to the bottom. And I think this case is so cute. It's so little. It's so little. So cute. And I do have a picture that I just showed you recently because I haven't had those for very long. And the picture I have. Sorry, I didn't mark it off was the color along with Jojo Zohana for last month in The Way Home by Morgan O'Brien. So this is what I use the color softs with. And maybe this, the reason I, I don't know, I didn't like them as much is because I used it on the Amazon paper. I need to try them on something else. But this is so far the only page I've colored with them. And that was The Way Home by Morgan O'Brien. And that was my Derwent Color Soft 72 set. Now my 12th, last but not least, I watched Deborah's videos from Mrs. Sweet's Crafting Therapy. And she bought Arteza Expert 120s because they were back. Yay! So guess what I did? I got on there right away because I did not want them to run out. And I got this beautiful case. So pretty. I've seen others on the videos. I guess some of them have birds on it. Mine, I didn't get a bird. Just flowers. I can see right here. I don't know if you can see that. There's some blue feathers. But here are they are. Oh, so beautiful. And they have number and a name on them and this one I know I got the swatch chart and the order from Pamela's passion for pencils and I watched her video because she has a video of her swatching out all of the pencils so I just followed along and wrote the names I'm pretty happy with them they are very soft I would say they're one of my favorites but I haven't colored with them very much I think I've only colored with them twice and I'm only show you one picture because it's already a sneak peek for one of May's finished pages but I just thought I'd show you for it's on my Instagram so if you're on my Instagram you've seen it anyway for the color along this one is the one for May. Uh, it's the color along by Jojo Zohanna. I pick a page out of this book every month. And this is with my Arteza Expert 120 set. So cute. I, I don't know if you can see that. I did the glossy accents. I did it on this because they're in like this tube thing. And then I did his eyes. So fun. 
so yeah that is the last set that i have so far i have some of the more expensive sets on my wish list like the polychromos would be the next ones i would really like um i do have a birthday coming up so we shall see but anyway, I hope you like this video and you'll subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you're notified when I post a new video and click the thumbs up that you liked it. I'd really appreciate it. Oh, and I did have some exciting news today. I hit 100 subscribers and I'm so excited. I know that's not very many, but for me, that was way exciting. Anyway, thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye.